Look, it's a Mickey hand. Ooh, wait. Oh, this is gonna be the best day ever. We're not really big attraction, amusement park kind of people, but we're staying in an area of Tokyo called Uriyasu, which is about 20 minutes by train outside of the city. Little did we know when we booked the Airbnb that we were staying like, what, a 25 minute walk from Tokyo so Disneyland? Close. Yeah, so we figured we couldn't pass it up. And it was also, how much was it online? It was 8,900 yen. Which isn't really that bad, especially when you compare it to prices in America. So uh, we're gonna see what it's about. We're gonna take you along, let's go. I'm so excited! If you found this video by searching Tokyo Disneyland and you're wondering how to get here, it's really easy. If you're staying in Tokyo, then there's like two lines that you can take all the way over here to the Mahama Station. And then once you get off of the Mahama Station, you're right at Disneyland. Literally, there's the station. Here's the gate. Mount Fuji is behind this castle. What is happening? We don't really have a plan or an agenda of all the things that we want to do in this park, so we're just going to take you along and we're going to see some sights, ride some rides, eat some foods, and go from there. What? I'm, I'm just saying, ice cream for breakfast sounds very good and very Disney. Very Disney. It smells so good. What does that smell? That looks incredible. Gotta get the melon pan. We got two coffees and a melon bread, and it was only 1100 yen, which is pretty affordable. And they prefer cashless payment, which is great because the size of Japanese yen is like that big. Oh, he's so precious. I mean, come on. Oh, it smells so good. Let me know how it is before I bite into it. It's like a melon donut. That's what it's like because it's got the custard inside. Okay. I don't think I got any of the inside. So if you ever visit Tokyo or Japan, you will notice that a lot of things are very different from what you're used to. If you're an American like us, a lot of the foods are gonna be very different. The public transit's very different. This is also very different, but that doesn't mean it's bad. I actually kind of like it. I, I, I still know how I feel about the custard on the inside, but the outside tastes good. I mean, it's basically like a sweet roll in the shape of Mike Wazowski, which is like bonus points. What? We're gonna go up. Oh, <laughs> Bigger! The little kids are running after them trying to say hello. This is so sweet. Okay, so I have an extremely funny story. So when I was in the 7th or 8th grade, my family and I went to uh, Disney World in Orlando, Florida, and we went to this like morning breakfast thing with Winnie the Pooh and friends. And I remember sitting there and we were trying to get autographs of all the characters. You know, Winnie the Pooh comes around, and Piglet comes around, Eeyore comes around, and Tigger's like the big draw. <laughs> he comes walking through the restaurant and he accidentally bypasses our table. <laughs> yeah. And my dad, in the middle of the restaurant, just shouts at the top of his lungs, Tigger! Tigger came whipping around and seeing it, and he was like, oh, okay. And he came over there and signed her little autograph book and everything. But uh, every time I see Tigger, I think of my dad yelling at him <laughs> at a breakfast at Walt Disney World. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I know y'all remember that story. <laughs> telling stories about us being small at Disney World. My parents took me when I was, oh gosh, six, and I saw the Cinderella castle for the first time, and there's just a picture of me standing there like, because I didn't think it was real. I thought it was just like a, a cartoon thing. I didn't think there was actually a building that stood like that, and my face was hilarious, because I was just in pure shock, like, I feel like you kind of can't come to Disneyland or Disney World and not do the Alice in Wonderland teacups. I don't know how hard we'll go. We'll probably like kind of keep it a little so calm. Hard. We're gonna not go so hard. Yeah, no. We're starting off with something classic for the first ride. These lines look really long, but it's nothing compared to Orlando. We just got in line and it says it's a 15 minute wait from where we are right now. So they move really fast. I am so 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. This reminds me of a college night. That was too fun. Why was it so much faster than I remembered? I know, that was, that was fast. <laughs> that was so fast. All right, what's next? <laughs> such a happy music you can't not dance i don't think i've ever seen hannah dance around this excitedly ever even when we went to epcot a couple years ago she was not this giddy probably because like it was like an hour and a half wait to do anything and everything there as opposed to here where it's so far the first ride was a 15 minute wait and this one is a 20 minute wait so you can still use the excitement from the last ride to this ride because it's such a quick turnaround we're in the front row you nervous? No. It's a scary ride. It's a scary ride? <laughs> it's a scary ride. stuck in my head all day. <laughs> What's next on the agenda, Hannah? Let's go find a ride that's a little more adventurous. For what sure. do you say? Uh, for sure, for sure. Haunted Mansion's closed today, which is kind of a bummer because I've never ridden it before. That's okay, we're gonna go ride uh, Big Thunder Mountain, which is like a roller coaster. I'm not a big roller coaster guy. <laughs> but I'll tough it out, I'll brave it. I know it's been a while since we've been to Disney World or Disneyland, but People have these popcorn bags, and I'm obsessed with them. It's basically a holder for your popcorn, and you can just have it strapped around your neck. It's like a purse, but for popcorn. I would say the good news is that the line seems to continuously be moving, but I would also say the bad news is the line is about the length of uh, New Hampshire to Chicago. <laughs> it's insanely long. But thankfully, I have Power of the Snap, if you followed us over the last year, you know what that is. But basically, I snap my fingers and we end up exactly where we want to be. I want to be at the front of the line, so I'm just gonna snap us there. Here we go. We switched to the GoPro because it's a little bit better for like roller coasters and stuff. Also, I'm talking to you to distract myself from the fact that we are gaining in height uh, and I'm scared of height. <laughs> just gonna continuously talk to you so that I don't, you know, freak out. part of the craziness. Switch back to the other camera? Yes. Snap us in. All right, what's next? Uh, let's go find out. Did you find something, Hannah? I found the churro. Yay. <laughs> How are they? They're not Mickey shaped, but they're really good. They are really good. All right, now that we've got a little bit of food in our bellies, we are over here in Adventureland. We're gonna check that out. I don't really know what's over here. Look, it's a Mickey hand. Hey. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Oh yay, my gosh. Yay, yay, yeah, yay. <laughs> the pork. It's so tender. So something that you might notice if you come to this Disney park, everybody's like waving at each other all the time, which is a bit different from how people interact with each other in the States. And I'm not saying that people are mean to each other in the States, but they don't like wave just constantly at like random strangers and smile and bow. And that's one thing that you'll learn if you come to Japan. Uh, this country and the people are so friendly, so hospitable, so respectful. 
and uh, they're just really, really kind. There's different flavored popcorn everywhere, and I think we're gonna have to get some because that seems to be the thing to get. There was white chocolate and matcha back there. This one is soy sauce and butter. I saw one that was black peppercorn. I'm, I'm in popcorn heaven. She's a big lover of popcorn, but I'm not really because it always gets stuck in my teeth and in my gums. It's always a struggle for me. <laughs> oh, I want a bucket so bad. Finally got your popcorn. I was gonna go back and get the matcha white chocolate, but I'm not a huge white chocolate fan. It smells divine. <laughs> mm, let's go. So this area that we're in now seems to be very uh, Beauty and the Beast theme. I guess it's like themed after the village that Beauty and the Beast is filmed in, or obviously it's not filmed there, it's animation, but you know what I was trying to say. There's a lot of people in line. I think there's a ride over here, but I'm not totally sure. So it's not a ride. It, I think it's actually like a performance and you watch like Beauty and the Beast, like the dancing cups and what's his name, Chip. They, yeah. they like do a performance or whatever. We're not going to wait because it's like over a hundred minutes to see the performance. We're going to head to the other side of the park. The wait's currently 75 minutes long which I guess could be worse. It could be worse. So I think if you're gonna come, come as early as possible and just jump in line for the rides that you think are the most popular. That's the uh, best tip that I can give yeah. at the moment. All right, Hannah, we won't be able to use this, this camera on this ride. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time for you to do the snap. Let's go! We literally were like, the only spot we don't want is the back, and we are in the back. Yep. Oh, someone's cheating. I'm not cheating, I just planned ahead. Where are we going? I don't know. Is this a dark drop? Is this this no, isn't a dark drop. Oh my is God, it? It, is. it is. It is? It is? No, no, no. No, it's oh, not. Oh my God! Oh! Pretty soaked. Yeah. Oh, the GoPro. Oh, yeah, the GoPro's wet. How was that? We definitely didn't get as wet as I thought we would, even though we were in what is supposedly the worst seat is in the back because the front goes down and then the water goes up. Got me some ears. Someone found something they wanted. So you can definitely do this theme park all in one day if you wanted to. But I'd recommend, as I said, I think earlier, get here as early as possible and then jump in the rides that you think are gonna take the longest to do. So the Baymax, Space Mountain, all, all of the mountains. If there's a mountain, it's gonna have a long line. Okay. I think we're a little tapped out on waiting in the long lines because it's starting to get a little bit chilly. So we're gonna go to Toon Land because neither of us know what that means or what that is. <laughs> So this could be like a, a ride for small children. We don't really know, but we're gonna do it. And I'm guessing it'll be kind of fun. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is how it is when Hannah drives! Oh. Hello, sir. What do we think? That was cool. Wouldn't your favorite? No. That's well, okay. <laughs> oh, do it again. Try it again. <laughs> Looks like we're getting a chicken leg because we can't find anything else. Yeah. All the lines are super long for restaurants. This is the easiest choice. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, chicken legs were a kind of a fail. They're a little bit messy. I spilled them all over myself now. I look like I peed on myself. 
Um, but we're going to hang out inside up until the parade starts in about 40 minutes and uh, show you around these little shops too because there's a lot of shopping that you can do here at Tokyo Disneyland. Churro I wanted. Mickey Mouse head churro. That's different. Should we get some? You want to get pasta snacks? Did you hear that? What? Put it up to your ear. So we got some cookies, we got some dried mangoes, some dried pineapple, and some pasta snacks. We did not anticipate doing that, but when you walk in here, everything looks so colorful and inviting, and everything has a smile on its face, and I just, <laughs> we just bought everything. We finally found a spot to sit down and eat snacks and watch the parade with over a million lights and all the Disney characters, so we're pretty pumped about it. They taste like Fritos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Fritos curl thing, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, scale of one to ten, how is the uh, the pasta snack thing? I think a seven. I know what dried fruit tastes like, so I'm gonna try the cookies next. Are these dog cookies? No, I don't think they're dog treats. Okay, I'm <laughs> just wondering. <laughs> sure. They're delicious. Mm. Oh. I need another just to verify them. Oh, I think we're starting. <laughs> Literally the coolest ending to the night.